Good day, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today, we are called to reflect upon a profound and urgent message delivered to us by St. Michael the Archangel through the Catholic confidant Luz de Maria on January 30, 2024. This message, my dear friends, is not just another piece of information. It is a divine call to action, a wake-up call for all humanity to heed the signs of the times and prepare ourselves for the spiritual battle that lies ahead. Saint Michael, the Prince of the Celestial Legions, comes to us with a warning. He speaks of a world on the brink of chaos, where humanity faces unprecedented challenges. The earth itself trembles, and species disappear at an alarming rate. Evil and depravity threaten to engulf us, and humanity finds itself amid a spiritual crisis unlike any other. In the face of these challenges, Saint Michael calls upon us to awaken from our spiritual slumber. He reminds us of the importance of faith, of holding fast to the teachings of Christ, and of remaining steadfast in our devotion to the Holy Trinity. He warns us of the dangers of pride and ego, urging us to embrace humility and repentance. But St. Michael's message is not just one of warning. It is also a message of hope. He reminds us that even in the darkest of times, we are not alone. We are protected by the heavenly host, and our prayers have the power to bring about change. He urges us to intensify our faith, to pray fervently for the protection of our brothers and sisters, and to unite in our devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. My dear friends, let us not ignore the urgency of St. Michael's message. Let us heed his call to action and commit ourselves to a life of faith and prayer. Let us share this message with others so that together, we may awaken the conversion and salvation of souls. The Archangel St. Michael tells us, Beloved children of the Holy Trinity, I come to you as the Prince of the Celestial Legions. Watch for the earth, as it will shake a little more intensely, leading to the extinction of certain species of animals. In this context, humanity, in its immense complexity and diversity, will find itself compelled to adapt to new and unprecedented climates in a scenario where decadence permeates all aspects of life. Considering that nature, in its slow and relentless march, diminishes humanity, countries will be purified both by human action that opposes divine creation and by actions perpetrated against man himself. I reflected on the enormity of evil, the depth of degeneration, unbridled insanity, limitless depravity, and the heavy burden that oppresses all humanity. I, Saint Michael the Archangel, protect you, invoke your guardian angels. Many sects, by infiltrating the Church of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, led lukewarm humanity into error and, devoid of desires for salvation, there is a profound oral lack, lacking a robust and unshakable faith that does not allow itself to be carried from one side to another, yearning to unveil what our King and Lord Jesus Christ reserved for another moment. Children of our Queen and Mother, the human creature will decline even further in its spiritual scope. That is why certain divine decrees were accelerated by the divine will in opposition to other decrees that were the response of the human creature and that were annulled due to the prayer and reparation of those who pray, convert, and intercede for the unbelievers. Remember that pride was the cause of the fall of Satan, and by the same pride, human creatures surrendered to their ego, refusing humility, consuming to the point of their fall. Humanity faces an imminent danger in the face of the elements coming from space but also in the face of meticulously prepared acts against the nations of the world. The threat of the conflict that has already begun and is spreading to other countries is severe. This conflict will continue to expand until it becomes general, invading humanity and bringing scarcity in all aspects. I urgently advise the countries along the border of North and South America to evacuate immediately. A significant earthquake is imminent, threatening to divide this continent into two separate landmasses. Awaken, human creatures, 
do not remain asleep. You are already suffering and you will suffer even more in the face of acts mostly directed against Catholicism. Pray, children of the Holy Trinity, pray fervently for the protection of those consecrated to our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray for the faithful instruments chosen by heaven to transmit to you the divine word and the word of our Queen and Mother. Intensify your faith, confess your sins, and receive our King and Lord Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. Pray the Holy Rosary, which is not a repetition of prayers but the exaltation of the Mother of our King and Lord Jesus Christ and an experience of the life of our King in this critical period. It will lead some to greater union with the Holy Trinity and others, moved by their free will, will throw themselves into evil, joining the hordes of the Antichrist who will soon manifest. Do not be afraid, continue towards unity with the Holy Trinity, although the future of humanity is full of laments. Live with the faith of a new dawn in which our Queen and Mother, in union with the Angel of Peace and all the angelic legions, by divine will, cast the Antichrist into the infernal abyss, and in the end, the Immaculate Heart of Mary will triumph. I bless Saint Michael the Archangel. That comes to the end of this message. Dear brothers and sisters, we find ourselves in an era marked by profound spiritual trials, blatant moral decay, a growing indifference toward sacred values, and a drift away from the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. These unmistakable signs emphasize the urgent need to reignite our faith and strengthen our connection with the Holy Church. As Catholics, we are called not only to contemplate our beliefs but to embody them actively, aligning ourselves with the teachings of Christ and responding to the challenges of our time with unwavering dedication. Though discouragement may attempt to take hold, let us use these turbulent times as opportunities to deepen our trust in divine providence. Let us seize this moment to intensify our commitment to prayer, sacraments, and devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, particularly through the recitation of the Holy Rosary. Let us draw strength from the comforting words of our Lord Jesus Christ, who assures us, in the world, you will face tribulations, but take courage, I have conquered the world. The promise of the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us that ultimately, God's grace and mercy prevail over all adversities. As we confront these trials, let us persevere in hope and trust in God, knowing that amidst the turmoil, a time of peace and renewal will emerge. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, we urge each of you to face these challenges with unwavering faith, abundant hope, and boundless charity. Let us unite in prayer and action, steadfast in our belief in the ultimate victory of God's love. Amen.